Ladies and gents, welcome. My name is Wasmatic. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Weaver's Fen. In New World, the new MMO from Amazon Game Studios. It's been much hyped. If you haven't heard about it, you're probably not a gamer. Today we're going to talk about fishing and we're going to do a deep dive, pun intended, into the world of fishing and we're going to look at how you can best enhance fishing for your character. We'll look at whether you need to take fishing what professions are supported by the gathering of fishing and we're going to look at how and i have found is the most efficient way to level quickly because there is a way now fishing superficially seems straightforward you get a rod you you cast your line and you pull in the fish but there are some real subtleties to fishing that i think this uh, is worth exploring so let's let's look at point number one who should take fishing my argument would be that everyone should take fishing because fishing is one of the few gathering professions in the game that can get nearly everything else. So you can gather a whole bunch of resources from fishing. The, the ones that I found you can't get specifically are herbs gathered from plants and um, fungus and, and items that you get in gathering from arcana related. Um, gathering nodes but that said there are some professions which you are going if you're going to take them you're going to need fishing to support it or you're going to need somebody who has fishing to support what you're trying to do and those two professions are cooking and arcana so if you're taking cooking and or arcana you absolutely have to have fishing because there are some elements that you can gather from fishing that you cannot get from anything else and you salvage fish you'll get fillets for cooking and you'll get um, resources like fish oil, which you can make into cooking oil, but you'll also get elements that are used in uh, arcana, like fish jaws and things like that. So, the other profession which I would recommend taking fishing, though it's not an absolute must-have, but the other profession I would recommend taking fishing is, surprisingly, jewel crafter. Now, when you're fishing, if you're fishing in a di at the right place using the right bait and the right equipment and the right clothing and the right fishing rod, you're going to get treasure chests. And when you open these treasure chests, they're going to give you metal ingots. They're also going to give you gems and you get a lot of gems. I have managed to level jewel crafting up solely on um, my fishing skills and treasure chests. So my jewel crafting is where am I at now? 53 and that's pretty much primarily done just through getting treasure chests now granted my fishing is at 126 might have gotten a little bit crazy with that one but um it's been fun so if you're taking cooking in arcana you absolutely have to have fishing i would also strongly recommend that jewel crafter you also take it it'd be very beneficial because you have a high chance of getting some rare gems number two what do you need to fish well Stating the obvious, you need a fishing rod. I'm actually going to suggest you get two fishing rods. Now, when you start first start out, a basic fishing rod will do. Getting your fishing up to a sort of low level, level 10 or 20, is fine. My suggestion is that you take fishing and you have two fishing rods. And you can see here, this one gives a medium boost to the chance of catching better fish during nighttime. And it also has small boost to catching larger fish in salt water, etc. The bit you want is the look. You want the boost to catching better fish. Not larger, better. And that one gives me the boost during the night. And this one gives him the boost during the day. Um, I say a thank you to Bob, by the way, for uh, providing me with these fishing rods. Because I don't do engineering whatsoever. So, you have your fishing rod when you start out. As soon as possible, get some fishing rods that will give you luck and better chance of catching um, a chance of catching better fish. If you can and get a fishing rod with this on, you would also be benefit. You would benefit from cast distance, not so much, but anything that gives you improvement to line tension. So, if you, for example, are taking focus like myself and you're using a a life staff, you will get benefits to. Um, fishing line tension at the first node uh, you get a decrease to the weight of carrying fish and you get plus 10 percent fishing line tension there again so if you're taking focus then that's going to be a huge benefit to you if not you may be able to get a fishing rod with that on so you want the chance of catching better fish not larger and uh, you want that on your fishing rod or the bits that you can get that will help if you do the fishing quest lines which start off I think um, near Winsford, 
you can start to gather this fishing gear and that will also give you um, medium boost of catching better fish on the jacket, uh, medium boost of catching better fish. Um, that's not specific to the water type, by the way. Um, we'll go into that in a minute. So, um, the other thing that you will need to fish, and we'll go down here to look at this, is bait. Okay, there are, uh, I've written this out because I needed to get it right. There are two main phases, that, two main benefits that bait can provide, and two different environments that they can provide them in. So, bait will either give you a chance of catching a um, better fish, or they will give you a chance of catching a larger fish. What you want is better, again. So everything that you're taking on your clothing while you're leveling fishing needs to be pointed towards catching better fish. It's, a, it's effectively the same as having luck on your gathering tools. So if you want to do this really easily, you can gather from the reeds like here. And you might see, uh, you can get firefly. There you go. So there's some firefly bait there. <clears throat> Firefly gives you a large boost to the chance of catching better fish in, in fresh water, okay? So two types of water, salt water and fresh water. So your bait will give you either a chance of catching a better fish or chance of catching a larger fish, and it will also give you a chance of catching it in salt water or fresh water. So here, for example, in the swamp in Weaver's Fen, uh, if you want to find out whether it's salt water or fresh water, just walk into the water. If you can't gather it, uh, bottle it, whatever, then it's salt water. Okay, so now I'm fishing here. What do I want? I want something that gives me a chance of catching better fish in salt water. There you go, nightcrawler bait. Um, Firefly does the same for fresh water. Nightcrawlers you can gather from uh, picking up flint, basically. So if you want to gather flint, you can also gather um, woodlouse here. Uh, and you gather those, I believe, from bushes. And they give a medium boost to the chance of catching better fish. So the bait is free. There are other baits that you can get, you can craft and you can gather uh, glowworm and such like, but for leveling, this is all you need. Okay, so you got your rod, you've got your gear, you've got your bait, and uh, you've got your clothing. Now, we're gonna take a quick look at how to catch fish. So I'm gonna do a fish over here for now. You press F3, and it'll bring out a fishing rod. You press R to call up the menu for what type of bait you want. And I'm just gonna use this for now, uh, booster catching better fish in salt water. The way you cast is your left click and ideally get max, like that. That gives you the maximum distance. You wait until something get nibbles at your bait. That's not it. <laughs> and then you left click and hold. Now you drag that in. If that green blob in the middle is your line tension, if that goes orange to red, it's gonna snap the line. So you have to click on and off. Drag it in slowly, and you will note that the fish and its fight against you changes as you're dragging this in. So, um, some uh, landing fish, like landing that, was fairly easy. You get 156 XP for fishing. Okay, if the fish, if the line tension goes red, then um, your line's going to snap. You need to let go. Now, there are fish that you can catch in the game that are legendary, and you will actually catch quite a few of these. There, are, I've encountered two different types of legendary fish. One from salt water, one from fresh water. The fresh water legendary fish you salvage into a decoration for your house. And that will give, quote, a boost to your peacocking score. Not quite sure what that is, whether it's a joke or whether there's actually something in, as a mechanism in the game further down the line. Then the legendary fish that you catch in salt water is used in cooking. Now I haven't worked out in what that's used yet, but um, there you go. So that's basically how you catch the fish. It's really, really straightforward once you get the right gear and the right bait. The legendary fish, if you don't have the line tension boost, will take quite an awful lot to land. Uh, they can be quite quite challenging. And if you don't have the right um, fishing rod and you don't have the benefits on your line tension, the chances are you're probably not going to be able to land it because it will go to snapping the line very quickly and you can't, you can't progress the landing of the fish because the line tension is, is too uh, great for you. Okay, this is the bit you're all waiting for. What is the fastest way to level fishing? Okay, so coming back to what I was saying before about your gear and your fishing rod, better is always 
be better is always better than larger. By that I mean catching a better fish, a green or a blue or an orange, is going to be better than catching a larger fish of lesser colour. You want to be aiming for catching as good a fish as possible. Now, how do you do that? Well, fish at hot spots. When you first start out in fishing, you are not going to have many hot spots available to you. You'll only see these at level two and these at level three and level four. Once you get further down, you start to uncover hot spots. Here's the trick. Using the right bait, um, you will catch, now I've written this down because uh, I've mapped this out. If you catch a grey fish, just an ordinary grey fish from ordinary water or anywhere else, that will give you around about 100 XP, maybe up to 149. If you catch a green fish, that will give you 150 to 175 XP. It's somewhere in that region. If you catch a blue fish, that will give you 175 to 200. XP depending on uh, the size of the fish that you land of that colour. If you land a treasure chest that gives you 200 XP every single time. Now this is throughout all the levels of fishing it doesn't scale so your um, XP income is basically flat in terms of the, the XP you generate per landed fish. A legendary fish and you will catch more of, the, more of these than you believe nets you 550 XP. So how do you level quickly? Right it's really really simple find somewhere now i'm in weaver's fan for a reason this is where i'd recommend you you get to weaver's fan's really good because it has a circular um hot spot route that i follow now i have mapped this uh xp per minute per hour against the xp of just standing in one spot and, and fishing okay this is by far and away the fastest way to level your fishing fish a hot spot until it's empty and then run to the next one and I use these two in particular up in the northwest are they west southwest even southwest of Weaver's Fen so I will generally start at the three star one here move to there fish that one out that's on a waterfall so you have to climb up to it fish that one out until it's empty run to this one star one fish to there and then sometimes I will run to that three star and that one star and then I'll run back down to this one again. There is another one over here. And I think there's another one over here somewhere. Maybe not. Um, anyway, so that's the route. And you will find that as you uh, as you progress through these, you will get more and more XP. So this is a really nice route. Now there are other areas. If you're starting in Winsford, for example, I might not be able to find this. There is a fishing hotspot here. And then there's another one here in Milbury Hills. And I used to actually, just bounce between those two. This is a really good one if you want to catch snails and snails you can salvage into saltwater bait. Equally, um, you can catch a lot of um, oh life moats. I can't remember what they are. Never mind. Um, but snails will give you saltwater bait and then you can catch clams which will give you freshwater bait. You catch clams in saltwater and you catch snails in freshwater and the snails give you saltwater bait. So it's kind of a bit of a dichotomy there but I digress so you want to find your fishing route and just fish in the hot spots now I'm not sure if you don't have bait don't worry most of the time now I'm fishing these hot spots I don't use bait at all I'm just going to use this now to see what we can get but it's it's not a prerequisite oh, missed a hot spot when you land your line in the hot spot it will say landed on the hotspot and then you just wait fingers crossed we'll get a good no you can tell by the fact that it's easy to reel in it's not a high level fish it's not a legendary okay it's getting a bit more challenging now it really is okay there's a blue swordfish that gave me 188 fishing xp so Fish your hot spots. Treasure chest, 200. There you go. And again, we can. Um, my other recommendation, sorry, going back to my notes here because I made copious notes. The fastest way to level, run between your hot spots. Use bait if you've got it, but you don't have to. If you don't have a lot of time, just keep fishing. 
Forget about the bait. As long as you're fishing in a hot spot, you're going to get a green or a blue anyway. Okay. And then the last point to note, which is what I was just going to do, is do not fillet any of your fish or empty any of your treasure chests until you get back to your storage. If you want to go out for a really long fishing grinding expedition, if you open this, you'll start to fill up your weight in your inventory. So what you want to do is keep these. They're actually quite light in terms of weight. They only weigh one, but when you open them, you'll start to get, let's see. Uh, so what are we on now? We're 356.5. Uh, I've got some gems, some money, some gold. That's 357. Point eight now so you can see that if you open up a lot of treasure chests and sometimes I'll finish a fishing expedition I'll have 20 treasure chests if you open a lot in one go you're gonna fill your inventory up and you're not gonna you're gonna have to run back sooner than you would like and that's it ladies and gents get the right gear get the right fishing spot and the XP will come rolling in do not I repeat do not waste your time trying to level fishing job by just fishing in open water like this because you're just not maximizing your time in terms of XP. Fishing your fishing hotspots. If, if your fishing hotspot is empty, move on to the next one. And I strongly recommend this route in Weaver's Fen. Start either, you could start up here and go down, or you could start there and go up. And uh, I think, looking at my notes, that is everything. Don't forget, if you really want to enhance your chances of uh, saltwater bait better for better fish and freshwater bait for be better fish, then you can fish in these fishing holes here. So there you will catch... Uh, whew, that one you will catch snails. And that one you get more snails than here. And then over on the coast up here, I used to use that spot for catching clams. And the clams will give you a better chance. But... Listen, don't worry about the bait while you're leveling. What's more important is you use the hotspot, use your fishing rod, you get the right stats. If anyone knows of any food that they found at the moment, my cooking is currently at 130. I have yet to find any food that gives an enhancement to fishing, but if you know of one, please drop a comment below. Um, don't forget, if you're a 21.9 supporter, give us a subscribe, uh, show YouTube that us guys in Ultra Wide actually do have something to offer to them. We know we have something to offer for the other viewers. And um, I hope that's been useful. This is how I've leveled my fishing. It's It's gone a lot quicker than I actually originally thought it would do. And uh, that's it, ladies and gents. I will see you next time. Bye for now.